Cold air is becoming firmly established across the lower 48, which means snowfall will continue to be a possibility as we head towards November. Along with that, Storm Karen is heading towards the United Kingdom and Ireland this week, so let's begin this report. Firstly, we have Winter Storm Bryson over the United States, which is still ongoing. Most of the snow associated with this storm is spreading through parts of Colorado, with some pretty heavy accumulations occurring. As we go deeper into the day today, the snowfall will become less and less noticeable across the plains, and it will become more confined to the mountains and foothills in Colorado and New Mexico. As temperatures drop tonight, that means snowfall will start falling in some new areas. You will start to notice heavy lake effect snow bands across the upper peninsula of Michigan, and as more moisture moves into northern New England, that precipitation will switch over to snow. That will continue throughout Sunday night and then into Monday. Lake effect snow will continue throughout the day on Monday with that new clipper system moving further south into the upper Midwest. Snow will start slowing down on Monday afternoon and the evening over Maine with heavy snow showers moving through the Twin Cities. This small system will swiftly move into Wisconsin by Monday night with snow showers approaching the Chicago area by Tuesday morning. You will also see how this little clipper system has some spin to it. It should make its way into lower Michigan and northern Indiana by Tuesday afternoon, possibly arriving in Ohio by the evening. We can expect these squally snow showers to move on into West Virginia and possibly parts of the northeast by Wednesday and Thursday, but it's still too early to predict exactly when and where that will happen. It looks like a widespread dusting to an inch or two will be possible with this system due to its fast-moving nature. Areas that see particularly heavy snow may end up with a few inches, but generally speaking, this storm will just spread some light accumulations. The Upper Peninsula of Michigan will be an exception, since some heavy and persistent lake effect snow bands look to set up there, especially around the Houghton area in Michigan, where up to 12 inches of snow is possible. Another persistent lake effect snow band may set up over northern Indiana, which may deliver a few inches of snow. Places like Cleveland, Ohio, into Erie, Pennsylvania may also end up with a couple inches of snow. And then, of course, northern New England may see some snow with that moisture moving in later today. So places like central and northern Maine could see a widespread 3 to 6 inches of snow accumulation. We currently have some very unsettled and wet weather stuck over the British Isles, and that's been ongoing for a few days now. We can see multiple low pressure areas just spinning around this region as we go through the next several days with widespread gusty winds and rain spreading into Europe. The rain will calm down a little bit across Ireland and the UK for October 30th, but there will still be scattered showers and storms on some spots. New disturbance will then approach on October 31st, bringing a band of rain into Ireland initially and then spreading across the UK for Tuesday night into Wednesday. Then Storm Karen will start approaching. Notice this new low pressure area that starts to show itself on Wednesday afternoon. Karen will then swing northeastward on Wednesday evening before crashing into Wales and England on early Thursday morning. The low pressure area will move inland over England for Thursday afternoon with widespread strong winds and heavy rainfall occurring. This system could really start weakening by Thursday evening as it heads back over the open sea. These are the weather warnings in effect for November 1st. A yellow warning for rain is in effect for North Ireland and also parts of England and Wales, with a yellow warning for wind and rain on November 2nd. Total rainfall accumulations across Europe through November 3rd look heaviest across much of Southern and Western Europe, with 15 to 45 millimeters of precipitation in the blue and 45 to 100 millimeters of precipitation in the purple. Some isolated areas in the dark purple, orange, and yellow may see some very heavy precipitation, especially in places like Italy and Croatia. That's all for this video. If you're interested in staying updated on the weather across the United States with occasional updates on Europe, definitely consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.